Hey everybody, I want to show you how to descale your Keurig Supreme Plus machine. You came here because you want to get out of the descale jail. Well, I did too. It's really not hard to do, but there are a few steps you have to follow. So let's come over here and look at what we need. First, let's look at the machine to be sure you're using the same one. So this is a Keurig Supreme Plus. We'll look at the top. You ought to be able to see those buttons, be familiar. And yeah, that's what, that's what we're using, the Keurig Supreme Plus. But I think these same uh, instructions will probably apply for any uh, similar Keurig machine that needs descaling. All right, to get started, you do need a few things, very simple things, just a couple of coffee cups. And go ahead and get a pitcher or some container, fill it with water. You'll see why later. And really, it probably would work with hot water, but you do want some descaling solution. It, that's really the proper way to do it. Okay. And when I was doing it, I got a 14-ounce bottle. You empty the bottle into your reservoir and then fill the same amount just fill the bottle again with water and dump it in there. And then this is the real trick that, that most of us miss. You want the power to your machine off. Okay, you want, the, you want the machine off. And then you want to push the 8 ounce and the 12 ounce buttons down. Hold them down until you'll see the descaling light come on. All right. Once you see the descaling light come on, you're gonna see this Keurig light light up. All right, put a cup under there, push the button, and then the process has begun. And this is where it gets really simple. You're gonna keep going through this process. You're gonna fill this cup up. You want an extra cup, because you might have to swap them around real quick. You go empty this cup out, come back, and eventually you'll see the the big K button light up again. Keep going, push it again. It'll fill this cup up. You'll swap it out, dump this one out, and you'll think things are stopped. Well, they're not. The Keurig button will light up again. Push it again. Keep swapping cups out. You go through this probably six times, maybe. It, it, the whole thing probably takes about 15 minutes. At one point, you'll get a, a indicator to add water that's why you need the pitcher because it takes a lot of water to go through here fill up the reservoir keep pushing the button and you like i say you go through this about six times to complete the process eventually the descaling light will go off that's our main objective is to wind up with a descaled clean machine with a button off have a great day